Hi guys, my name is Anuj Jindal. Welcome to my channel. Today is 8th August 2019. It's uh, 6 a.m. in the morning. The video is going to be live at 8 a.m. And I'm going to discuss a lot of questions today uh, along with a lot of interesting information uh, which will go alongside with that. The questions that I've made uh, today specifically, I found that I had a lot of interesting information to be added to this uh, all this current affairs related questions that, that, we have, that we're going to discuss. And therefore, it's going to be a very interesting session. So stick around, uh, go through all these questions along with me. And even later, you can try and take this quiz on the website. So if you can see here, you can see that there is a icon here at the top called as quizzes. As you click here, you will be taken to the morning tails quiz and you can directly take these quizzes. Okay, without any hassle. So let's start with the first question without wasting any time. The question says, in which state has India's first 3d traffic signal intelites has been installed so the name is important please try and remember the name there is single l uh, for intel as well as lights and that is what becomes important now in which state and which area has it been installed it has been installed in mohali in the state of punjab so the answer is c punjab now what exactly is this 3d traffic signal intelites what it does is, for example, this is a square and uh, let's say this is the square and you have green signal on this side, uh, uh, whereas there is no traffic from this side, but there's a lot of traffic jam uh, happening at this particular uh, road, which is also waiting to cross. So 3D interlights, the traffic signal will read the traffic uh, intensity in all the four directions and will work accordingly. It has been created specifically by Chandigarh University students and they have been working on it for the past uh, three to four years. So it's an important feat that they have attained. Okay. So the answer is C Punjab, but at the same time, I think it's a good initiative and it's going to bring a lot of improvement in the way time is wasted and many other wasteful things happen in uh, the uh, traffic signal system that we have in India. The second question is which state has launched the race, a new higher education model to facilitate movement of faculty and movable property among government colleges. So the name is race and the full form is resource assistance for colleges with excellence. So remember this can be asked in the examination resource assistance, resource assistance for colleges for colleges with excellence. Now with the name only, you can actually identify what exactly is it trying to do. Resource assistance, which means that if there are two colleges, college A and college B, college A has a staff of 50, college B has a staff of 20. The requirement here is 30, the requirement here is 40. 20 people will move from staff A from college A to college B. Similarly, if there are any other uh, problems being faced by B, B or by A and there is excess resource available in any other college, it is free to move from one place to the other. So it has been launched by the state of Rajasthan. That is important to remember and also the purpose of this new initiative. Okay, I hope you have understood it. The third question is, which country has signed agreement with Russia for a lifetime supply of uranium for its Rupur nuclear power plant? So there are two questions. Number one, the question that can be asked is, where is new Rupur nuclear power plant located? And the second question is, with which country has Russia signed a lifetime supply uh, agreement for Rupur nuclear power plant? And which company has done it? Bangladesh has done it with T-Well. T-Well joint stock company, which is a Russian company, has done it with the country of Pakistan, uh, Bangladesh. Sorry, So the answer is D, Bangladesh. It had been in news for quite some time. They were trying to come to uh, a mutual agreement uh, on this particular issue only. And uh, surprisingly, they've come out with a lifetime supply agreement. The fourth question is, with which country has Reliance formed a joint venture to set 5,500 petrol pumps in India and supply commercial aviation uh, turbine fuel. So British Petroleum BP, which is a British company 
as is very obvious has come to terms with reliance and they've uh, entered into a joint venture only the facts are important in this question that was question number four and that's why i'm not going to discuss this now this is important this is something that uh, i can explain properly and at the same time is very important for the upcoming exams the question is nsc ifsc sgx connect is a joint proposal between national stock exchange which is nse in this case what is the full form of ifsc and sgx please pause the video and if you know the full forms provided right now i shall be discussing both ifsc and sgx as well as gift city and therefore i want you to pro provide the full forms of all these three if you remember them okay so nsc ifsc sgx connect is a joint proposal between national stock exchange and dash to jointly carry out operations in gift city the answer is singapore exchange which is sgx okay so the full form of sgx here is singapore stock exchange ifsc and gift city what are exactly these ifsc is international financial service center ifsc international financial service center this is a service center basically a stock exchange a global stock exchange which is being uh, set up in gift city now what is gift city gift city is gujarat international finance tech city it's a self sustainable smart sustainable and smart city which has been set up in gujarat and it's a green field project that is very interesting it's a green field project which means it has come up from scratch in gujarat just like cities have come up in uh, punjab as well as himachal pradesh a lot of them uh, like chandigarh for example similarly gift city has come up and the reason that it is different from others is because it's self sustainable it is smart and it is going to have an international financial center just like the national stock exchange or the bombay stock exchange so the purpose is to carry out or to create an international financial stock exchange which can work globally as well as around the clock it's going to operate for your information ifsc is going to operate 22 out of 24 hours so it's going to be a global center so that people from around the world and in india as well can trade around the clock okay so the answer to this particular question is singapore stock exchange but i hope now you have a lot of additional information as well next question which card payment company has launched the identity check express to increase security of transactions while shopping online the answer is mastercard what exactly have they done let me explain it to you for example if you're using a mobile phone and let's say you're using amazon.in and you end up buying something so you buy something and when you buy something if you have noticed if you are paying online if you are using your debit card credit card or net banking then you are taken to a third party platform that is a website where you make the payment now this results in some insecurities or some uh, problems with the firewalls which can be broken down and your system can be hacked now mastercard has come out with this feature that you don't need to go to this third party website while buying from the app and you will stay on the app itself so that increases the security that the consumer enjoys while purchasing or while making any online transaction so the answer is mastercard and i hope you have understood what the exact uh, technology is next question is who has been appointed as the new cmd of power grid corporation of india very factual question the answer is k srikanth kandi kuppa srikanth who has been uh, appointed as the new cmd of power grid corporation which is a public company public sector company okay so the answer is a k srikanth who has won miss miss world diversity 2019 title the reason that it is so important that i'm discussing it today is because this is the third time third and not only third time but also third consecutive time 2017 2018 and now 2019 that nas joshi has won this title so third consecutive time and therefore it's very important i'm expecting this question in the examination okay who among the following has become the first woman to win 4000 km cycling race in the transcontinental race of cycle 2019 i think it's a very important question and uh, a source of inspiration also for a lot of people out there so uh, 
a very good question uh, and a very good information for all those athletes or people who love to cycle who love to exercise now this girl is from bulgaria now this girl has cycled from sorry bulgaria to france in 10 days uh, covering a total of 4000 kilometers and the name is fiona kolbinger fiona kolbinger she is uh, 24 years old and i think uh, it's a great feat 4000 kilometers is a long distance and she's covered it and won it in 10 days she covered 4000 kilometers in 10 days where is kana tiger reserve located i wanted to discuss this because there's so much history behind this question or so much history behind kana tiger reserve not a long history but a recent history which i think everybody should enjoy so kana tiger reserve is located in madhya pradesh and why has it been in news is because of this tiger called as munna now this tiger called munna is one of the oldest tigers in india at 17 years old he is 17 years old one of the oldest tigers in india he is still surviving because apparently he is very smart he is named munna because he has a limp in his leg and he also has a cat uh, mark on his face and that is how people recognize him and he is very popular among indians as well as wildlife enthusiasts around the world that they often donate a lot of money for his well keep as well as they keep asking uh, Kana Tiger Reserve about his whereabouts. So uh, he vanished in the past as well uh, during the monsoon but he came back uh, uh, while people had assumed that he might be dead and the same has happened this year as well. He's just returned or he's just been sighted again yesterday and which became a news and therefore I thought let's discuss this question so you should try and google and see his face at least once just try and see uh, have a look at his face and you would be mesmerized by how uh, majestic tigers or these wild cats creatures are which are available in india you should try and probably you know travel to some parts of the country try to spot these creatures and feel their presence in our wildlife as well okay so the answer is b uh, i hope you liked what I discussed along with and you would remember where Kana Tiger Reserve is now. Okay, so that was all for today's uh, quiz. If you like this video, do not forget to subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon, share it with your friends so that more and more people can watch good current affairs early in the morning and can get some good insights into different things that we discuss. Not just discuss questions, but also discuss a lot of interesting facts and interesting you know figures uh, happening around those news so that the chances of remembering them and cherishing them increases okay that was all for today you can take these quizzes available they're available online on the website as i said uh, all the very best have a nice day take care